G'day. Today we are pulling something out of the archives, the LucasArts archives to be exact, um, volume one. Uh, it's a game released in 1992 and then re-released on CD-ROM, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. It was re-released with a full audio voice acting track, which made the game even better, if possible. Uh, this archive came out in the mid-90s, um, had a bunch of LucasArts greats on there, including Day of the Tentacle, and some demos and samplers and whatnot. Uh, the archive also came with a handy manual, uh, with details on each of the games in, included within. Uh, if we scroll to the front of the manual, uh, we have the details on the fate of Atlantis, which I think is one of the better stories that LucasArts have come up with. Um, we've got details here of how to play the game, but I really think this game could have easily become a movie, um, and it's odd, I think, that they didn't pursue that. Um, it is one of the better point-and-click adventures, I think, ever made. Got a handy IBM reference guide here on how to play the game. I'll be using a uh, good old-fashioned mouse for this uh, and an emulated via Scum VM, which just makes it a little bit easier to run on a modern computer. A uh, slight departure from previous games that I've featured on here uh, and that I've actually finished this game but it was well over 20 years ago, a few years after it came out. I'm keen to see if it still holds up. So uh, let's kick it off. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, one of the great LucasArts games. I think fairly underrated as well in terms of story, and some of the art is really great as well. All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? So as mentioned, I have finished this in the past. But it was a very long time ago, so I'm not quite sure of a lot of the... It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Paths to take. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I think this was like an extended intro, so I can't actually pick anything up, what do you think? Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Uh, yep. There we go. Oof. So I think the start of this game will be quite zippy, but when we get to the middle and the end, I've got less of a memory of those parts, mainly because I probably played through the start of it a whole bunch of times and got stuck and left it. will still take a while, I think. I think I've read them all. Stairway is closed for repairs. Hmm. There's nothing of importance here. But these books don't look familiar. Uh oh. How yeah, far do we have to fall? Better 
better get that roof checked. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Looks pretty slippery. I guess we have to fall all the way to the basement. Searching for. A horned statue. A strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. Fine word, India, a small metal bead, jewelry perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is it? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phone. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. <laughs> Odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kona found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. <laughs> Hello there. The 
show sold out, sir. Hold on. No seats, no standing room, no exception. Yeah. I do like the shortcut system um, that LucasArts came up with. Press P for pick up, U for use, T for talk to, L to look at. Just makes things a lot better and quicker. It's today's paper. Hmm. I can't make a call, I'm out of nickels. It's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. I'm with a band. Madam Sophia doesn't have a band. Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? I'm the fire inspector. <laughs> what do you take me for, a moron? Good night. It's fun. Move along home now. It's funny some of those responses are There's random. Be some way to talk my way in. I'm pretty sure every time you play the game they're different. Um, but also, I'm fairly certain that this game is unique and that it's got slightly different paths you can solve puzzles. Kind of. I guess it's kind of similar to some of the King's Quest games, where you can either fight your way through or figure out another way around. Like I, I'm pretty sure you can fight that bouncer. It's a crate. But I think we can go around from memory. Let's push. Yeah, so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure in certain way, in certain parts of the game. It all leads to the same ending, but hmm. Do to push this one. I can't pick that up. No, I don't want to push it. I can't read the way it looks blocked. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Hmm. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. That's odd. That's where there's a way around. Should I like, pull this one or something? It won't go any further that way. Okay. Yeah, there we go. No, not that one. Go back there. The way looks blocked. Mm. Alrighty. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts. 
such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Yes, indeedy. Time to cause some shenanigans. about right. Not that anyone does. Oh, that switches it off. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> and I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh, may I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. Deceit. Deceit. Indiana Jones, you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Ulbama, fantastic news. We found the treasure we seek. It's quite foreboding. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces a plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? <laughs> a few atoms weren't even that much. They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. No. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist.
yet you stole things from my expedition. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. knows where these beats really came from. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Classic plane trip over the map. I really do think that this game could have been made into a movie. I reckon its story is probably better than the last Indiana Jones movie at least. It looks like someone's still living here. I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my big site now. Go away. <laughs> I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, Sean? I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. 
He was stopped by a force field, put here by beings not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. <laughs> Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a space part. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. <laughs> so what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? The Yachtstro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently, I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. <laughs> Go ahead, blame it all on me. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely! If it's supernatural, you ask. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here? Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. <laughs> I've got to say, if this guy's name is Bjorn, I don't think his accent is Swedish or Danish. <laughs> Uh, it sounds a bit off, to say the least. That said, the other voice acting is great. Um, how much does the uh, lead character sound like Harrison Ford? It's pretty great. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. <laughs> it almost sounds Irish. Okay, so we've got to go to see those two archaeologists. Let's head for the airport. Let's try the shortest route first. The Azores. Mr. Costa? Keep your shirt on. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Ouch. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Excuse me. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. 
My pleasure. Oh, she's got the necklace. My necklace. Um, I'm not sure if we can get in. Using Mr. Costa! Keep your shirt on! He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. <laughs> Actually, he's named after the family dog. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. Great tie into the movie series. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Have you read it? Nope. Do you have it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. <laughs> Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Mm -hmm. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Hmm. So, he wants an Atlantean artifact. Let's get out of here. Maybe this one in to come. Oh, there's some sort of puzzle here with this rodent. It's a snake. I hate snakes. Mm. Oh, okay, so there's... I think I remember the solution to this. Rudent over there. Oh, poor Rudent. Good old Mother Nature. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. 
Let's look around. Okay. I think there's something with the parrot. Need to get him to repeat something. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Okay. Echo. Echo. Have to like repeat the title of something. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcards, replicas of the temple, souvenir mugs. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. That's a lot of jobs. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no. Oh no! I'll see. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. Tell us about the temple. Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indian building. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. <laughs> I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I uh, don't think it's any of those. I don't know the title. You're no student of Atlantis, then. Oh, okay, so now I think we can... Because the parrot said title. Title? Hermophrates! A friend of Socrates! Hermocrates. A friend of Socrates. Is that Stop. it, then? Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. I can't remember if it had to do that a couple of times. Excuse me. Yes. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. <laughs> Gluteus Maximus. The Hermocrates. That's it. Ah, okay. That's it. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. Thank you, Parrot. I don't trust this guy, Indy. Mm. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Cool. Looks like it could use a nose. Looks like it could use a nose. I can't move it. I can't move it. Mm. 
engraved symbols of water and life. Oh, that's right, this eh? This one looks different, more deeply etched. Mm. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. I can't move it. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Okay, so I've got to clean that somehow. I doubt that's going to work. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> um... haven't really explored the other locations. Does he have anything, maybe? Say there. Yes. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Listen. Yes. Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe we need to go somewhere else and get something. A tool or something. Wait for me, old bean. Oh, there is a kerosene lamp, though. Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. I can't let you have that. Oh. Okay, so kerosene can be used to clean things. Oh, I think, like... To get Sophia to Listen. distract him or something. Yes? Let's look around. Okay. Hold up there, friend. Well, any ideas yet? Hmm, okay. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Alrighty. I think we can get the lamp now. I'm not 100% sure if that is what is needed. But I do remember the distraction. Good thing pest Sternhardt's not around. Okay, sweet. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's it then. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. This kerosene lamp is The in. kerosene won't pour out. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm. Mm, open it. Ah, cool. Yep. There we go. Better not spill the kerosene. Yep. Yes. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Now I got it. Marvelous. It's a stone carving. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like a nose, right? And this is an animal head without a nose. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Cool. Amazing. Push. It won't go any farther. Mm. Look at that! Alrighty. Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone! At last I have the thing! Goodbye, fellow speakers! Wait! Oh no, he got away! What? It's almost invisible. Open. 
it won't budge. Okay. It's, I don't like this. The shiny bead. Cool. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Auric Alchem bead. Oh, sweet. I have one bead. Doesn't look like there's anything else at the tomb of this Atlantean king. Cool. It's the primitive image of an elephant. Alrighty. There, no. On to. Let's find the airport. Don't think that's the item that Costa wants. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure wants the eel. See if something's changed here since we got the Ari Calcum. Oh. oh no, he's frozen. Look at frozen Heimdall. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. <laughs> Ouch. It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Ah, here we go. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Yeah, well. Pick up. Sweet. It's a bronze coil. Poor Heimdall. Mm. Alright, so we give this to Costa. And then we... Find out where the dialogue is. Let's head for the airport. Or something. Jeez, I hope we got frequent flyer points. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? <laughs> I'm offering this for an archaeology magazine. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... Lost dialogue of Plato is in the Dunlop collection. Got that? I think so. The Dunlop collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. Hmm. The Dunlop collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Dunlop collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Corner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? That's great this voice acting. Amazing. You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this! Prehistoric knickknack? Herr yeah, Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of the magical metal plate or called Ore Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we found the treasure we see. Yeah, we must test! Yeah, wow. My God. 
should be here somewhere. Need some help? <laughs> you don't have tenure. Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. It says, movie tonight, The 39 Steps. It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. Get yeah, bargain. Yeah, the stairs are open now. Let's see if we miss something. Shovel? Nope. Ooh. It's a greasy old towel. textbooks. Hmm. How cool would it be to explore the attic of some old museum? Or university, I guess. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Oh, what's that? Look at their head. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Pick up. There we go. Pick up the rope. I can't pick that up. No. Maybe if I use this to cut it. That didn't do anything. No. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Mm, can I open the crate? It doesn't seem to open. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. It's locked. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Yeah, right, okay. You pick 
it up? I can't pick that up. Use you break the lock with the. Well, that didn't do anything. Nope. Slightly frayed, but still strong. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, because it's a hole up there. It's a hole leading to the attic. Hmm. Can I use the whip? I don't think that'll work. Nope. Hmm. I believe it's part of the old spray collection. I believe it's part of the old spray collection. Screw. It's a screw. It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. Pick up. It's screwed in too tight. Okay. Hmm. I can't move it. The back of the bookcase is too securely fastened to open. Yeah, right, okay. No, oh, that's kind of pointy. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. Okay. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. Oh, okay. Uh, rag. Ah, excellent. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. Cool. Use that with that. It's unscrewed. Ah, cool. It's working. It's unscrewed. I do not remember any of this. It's unscrewed. Having played and finished this a long time ago. It's unscrewed. Can you open it now? There's nothing of importance here. Oh. I can't move it. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. Uh. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Yeah, right. What was I looking for? The... So the Dunlop collection. Hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe it's in the office. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Uh. Well, don't just stand hmm. there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. What's in there? I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. <laughs> okay. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. Here's a thuggy idol. Oh, trunk. It's already open. Nothing useful in here. Hmm. That's annoying. Okay, so it's not here. It's gotta be back in the other building. Yep, 
Yeah, right about here is where I remember being stuck a whole bunch of times ages ago. I did eventually get past it, but I think it's going to be a bit more slow going. Can't go anywhere else, right? Gonna miss something down here in the furnace. Oh. It's too slippery to walk up. It's too slippery to walk up. Hmm. A fine sample of bitumen. Now I can actually get some. Yep, yeah, okay. It's hot. Interesting. It's very hot. <laughs> no sir. Oh, wait. Do we use the gum? I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. No. What do you know? The gum works! Back here. Oh, okay, so that's where the bookcase knocked us through the floor. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Ah. Oh. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. It looks odd. It's made out of wax. Oh, cool. A cat idol. But unlike the others, it's made of wax. So the others you can't get. It's much too heavy to carry. Okay. Hmm. A cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. What use is a cat idol, I wonder? I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. You're right. Miscellaneous antique vases. No, oh, this draws. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Let me guess, they're all locked. Seems to be locked. Oh, what? They're drawers. They just open. They're drawers. Can I use the shelf? I don't think that'll work. Up? It's here. Oh, inside of bookshelf. I'm not getting out that way. Yeah. It's a book ready to fall. Uh, okay. Is that our lost dialogue? I don't think that'll work. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. I can't pick that up. I can't reach it. <laughs> it's funny how they reach out. I'm sure they can use like a whip or something, right? I don't think that'll work. No. Maybe use that with the hole. I don't think that'll work. I don't see anything special about it. Hmm. How do we get that book, do we reckon? I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. These aren't the books I'm looking for. I can't reach it. Hmm. So there was the thing with... Um, we unscrewed the bookcase from the floor. Did that not do anything? It's already open. It doesn't seem to close. So I've got the 
book, a whip, kerosene lamp. It's empty. That's empty now. I could use the gun. I could use that. A jar of mayonnaise. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Can I like use that with the thing to move it? I don't think that'll work. Nope. I don't think that'll work. Nope. A fine sample of bitumen. Mm, okay. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing to do up here. Right. There's nothing in the office. Doors is there that I missed. Nope. Throw the coal in to make it hotter. Don't know what that will do. Maybe I'll save it. Actually, I haven't saved in yet, so. Uh, New York basement. Save. Cool. Uh, it's hot enough already. Yeah, right, okay. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Used motor oil. Be the use of that. I mean, I could throw the. Oh, is there something inside the wax cat? Cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. Yeah, but then I won't be able to get it out. Too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. It seems to be locked. They're drawers. I don't think that'll work. We also had that uh, locked chest up in the attic. ready to fall. So you can't move the bookcase from the other side, even though I've opened it. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. I can't move it. I can't move it. I can't move it. 
I can't move it. A cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. Maybe we do have to melt it. I have saved it, so... The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Ah, oh, okay. The Hermocrates. Now at last I have Plato's Lost Dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought was hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. I hope to be safe. Um, to be safe, I've sent a copy to Dunlop. Charles Sternhart. Hmm, okay. I won't read all of it. Ah, 30,000 miles away. Or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Minds. distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. 
He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Dealing with Nurab Sal takes a lot of energy, that's all. Now listen. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it Alain Frontier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. Hmm. You'll need all three stones. If you want to find Atlantis. <laughs> Maybe we ought to call the whole thing off. How will I find Frotier and Al Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. No, oh, no. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. So I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. I'd rather tackle this together with you. Are you absolutely sure? I wonder if this is actually a split in the uh, story. Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Okay, if that's how you feel, we'll go together. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. I honestly can't remember if I chose that the last time I played it, so will things be completely different at this point? I don't know. Alrighty, how cheers. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm, Atlantis. No. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. <laughs> How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. 
You know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife drawer in North Africa. I'm trying to follow it down. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. What do you reckon? Should we do it? Uh, let's come back. Excuse me. Yes? What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Do you accept US currency? Sorry, no. You know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. So long. Salam. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Effendi? Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Thal. Little pots. Little pots. Pots. I don't need them, they're just small pots. <laughs> this weed monkey thing over here. Big pots. It says drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. It all looks pretty worthless. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Excuse me again. Yes? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. Sweet. Free mask. This thing is spooky. Does it open? 
doesn't seem to open. No, it doesn't. Excuse me again. Yes? Nice shop. I like to think so. Hmm. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. I'm not sure I should trust you. Let me know when you make up your mind. You're right, so we need one of the stone discs. I was considering showing him the last dialogue of Plato. So he wants to see an artifact. We'd better not go out there. We'll just get lost. I guess we talk to the knife thrower. Excuse me. And volunteer. Yes. I'd make a wonderful assistant. It's refreshing to see such spirit. But my assistant must be a woman. <laughs> Show business, you know. Sophia. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. <laughs> think about the effect on international relations. about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. <laughs> Do you have any dinars? No. What do we do now? We need an Atlantean stone disc to show Omar. There's a collector in Monte Carlo who might have one, Atlant Cartier. I guess that's what we're doing. Never mind. Okay. I oh, can walk to the roof. What's up there? Ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. Yeah, fair enough. Alrighty, I do remember the balloon ride. But I have no memory of what to do next. I guess we're going to Monte Carlo. Here we are. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. What does Trottier look like? How shall I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Okay, I'll try to find him. Good. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A 
seance? I'll go get ready. Just stop random people in the street. Hey there. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. Look for a man in a brown suit. Oh, that's handy. Hey there. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. But I know he has an ecchidy nose. Hey there. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Is that him there? Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Finally, somebody recognizes me. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Well, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the book of changes indicated, who oh, well, simply put, a change. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. Answer me this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for Henri Calcon? Eh. What's the answer? It's probably in the dialogue, but I can't check that right now. Stone. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Bonsoir, monsieur. That's Amber. Just a moment, please. 
Yeah. Sorry to bother you. Then leave me alone. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got the device used to find Orikaku mixed up Monsieur Trottier? with Back the Worldstone. Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. En somme, this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for Oricalcon? Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. You need help, pal. She's better than any psychiatrist. Are you implying that I might be madly unstable? I am insulted. Oops. Just a moment, please. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. Can we go in? The door is closed. Is that you, Jones? Where's Trottier? I've tried, and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nurab Sal's name. There must be a sheet under here. Exactly. Oh, I think I know what this is for. But first, we need to um, get the bloke up here. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your sincerity. Just a moment, monsieur. Yes? I just want you to know I work for Nurab Sal. Did you say Nurab Sal? Well, perhaps you're not the buffoon I took you for. Now, excuse me while I consider this. It's a flashlight. It's a bed sheet. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? It would please Madame Sophia if you joined her seance. I need money. Perhaps Madame can tell me which phase of the moon is best for gambling. So I'll do it. Please lead the way. Finally. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Are you sure this is going to work? 
Just you watch. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. Nurad Sal demands proof of your sincere belief. Well, I have this stone key from the lost city. It should prove my word to Monsieur Sal. Very good. Very good indeed. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' mind, if you prefer. I told him everything. Hmm, let me think. It was the Book of Changes, right? So the Book of Changes told you to. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest fear? Hmm. I don't think we learnt this. Oh no, he did say fakers. You fear fakers. Hmm, you don't say. What is my greatest need? You need money. Hmm, you don't say. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. <laughs> Please excuse me for just a moment. Of course, madame. Uh, can I talk to you, Dr. Jones? some trouble tonight. You're doing fine, but I'll take over if you want. back to the seance and I'll think of something. It better be good. I'm sorry. Now where were we? I think I'm getting something. It's a fuse box. Let's move on. Let a smile be your umbrella. A stitch in time. Now is not the time. Let's move on. I'd better wait until it's dark. Yeah, okay, so I need to... I Look into my eyes. The lights? What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. <laughs> oh, I feel the presence of Narab Sal approaching us. Ooh. <laughs> Well 
done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. Alrighty, that worked out well. Did we miss anything in here? Fuse box. I better put the flashlight back. I better put the sheet back. Fair enough. Hey there. No, wrong person. Nice night for a walk. Yes, it is. Wait for me. Alrighty. I've got the world stone. One of them. It's a stone it's disc stone. with solar images carved into it. this to Al Jabbar. Excuse me again. Yes. I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. Okay. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. Ah, a sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. And the most stupendous find, Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. <laughs> okay, we give up. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. That's handy. A few minutes later. A few hours later. You've 
returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball, it's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about... This voodoo doll? It was carved from trees in the Black Forest. That doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about this yellow yo-yo? It was <laughs> hand-painted by an Arabian princess. I'm, I'm hoping he gives us a ticket for the, um, the hot air balloon. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about this beautiful white cane? Okay. It was once touched by Queen Victoria. I think we need to do something else. I'll just keep what I've got. As you wish, sir. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Maybe I need to talk to the hot air balloon guy. Oh, is the excuse me? Prize a ticket here? Yes. Are you absolutely sure I can't help you? Not a chance, if any. Excuse me. What? Algeria. Hmm. Never mind. Okay. Oh, maybe we give him something. Hello there. Back again, eh? How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Uh, okay, so he wants... Now, let me get back to work, please. Food? I don't think any of the... items were food, though. There is the grocer. I wonder if he'll take... random items. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see signs. If not, you don't. Alright, that's pretty straightforward. I guess there's no... No change. Alright, I think it is... Maybe trade for something that the grocer accepts. Without Jabbar. And then give the food to the beggar to get a ticket. Kind of makes sense, right? Excuse me. Yes? Oh, the squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll give you this scary mask for a squab. 
No thanks, it would scare away my best customers. Hold the squad, I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. Alright, so that's potentially it. Excuse me again. Yes? I'd like to trade my mask for something else. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Let's see if he likes the cane. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Will you trade a squab for this finely crafted cane? Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. But it does remind me to get a gift for my aging grandfather. Hold on. Surely the I've cane. I've got another offer. Make it. Surely the cane is the right thing. Let me get back to you on that. At your convenience. Great. The paint's still wet. Excuse me again. Yes. Can I trade my cane for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something nice for an older gentleman? Here we go. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... These charming shaded spectacles? With these a man can stare straight at the sun. I'll take them. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Alrighty, that sounds about right. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Squab for these spectacles, even Steven. Hmm, hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. What? It just doesn't work with the colors of my house. Colors of his house. Hold the squad. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my spectacles for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something nice for an older gentleman? Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This handsome red vase? No gentleman should be seen without one. I mean, I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. This isn't a real fez, it's just a paper hat. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's not going to work. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my fez for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something nice for an older gentleman? Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... 
this antique brass spittoon? With it, a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. Charming. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about these charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this antique brass spittoon? With it, a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. Hmm. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Avendi. Yeah, this thing's been used recently. <laughs> yeah, I'm not confident. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. How about a squab for this antique brass spittoon? Mm hmm. My grandfather will love this gift. Alrighty, fine. So color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. Squab, huh? <laughs> Looks like a barbecued pigeon. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, what the hell is a squab? Let's uh, save it. Squab. All right, I'm thinking we give the squab to the beggar. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Abendi. Here's your free gift. Alrighty. It says one day pass, Kareem sightseeing tours. I think we're good. Although... What's this guy? Four, exactly. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. No bother. Okay, we have to get Excuse Sophie me. to do it. What? Come on, assist the guy, will ya? Nope, nope, nope. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Ah, uh, okay. Do we just push it over there? <laughs> okay, don't volunteer. Never! So where's your sense of adventure? Sophia. What? I swear you had to nudge her. Never mind. Okay. Do we just like walk? Get her to walk close. Hey, it doesn't let me. Doesn't look like you can. <laughs> Crack the whip. Um, 
listen. We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. <laughs> it's so it. Okay, don't volunteer. Never. So where's your sense of adventure? Excuse me. What? Why wouldn't you let me push it? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, just click in it. This says. can't move it. Hmm. I can't move it. Doesn't seem to be working. Go around the other side, maybe. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Sophia. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Thanks. That's interesting. Probably come in handy later. We'll just get lost. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. Sophia. What? We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Please, it's perfectly safe. What's with you anyway? You gotta see this genius in action. Really? Better not get too close. All right, surely. Oof. Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. Finally. But. Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But. Just walk over to the board now. <laughs> Ta-da! assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. <laughs> Sweet. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. <laughs> oh, jeez. From the accident, no, no doubt. Alrighty, I think we're set for a free balloon ride. Might just save it. I 
like a balloon ride. Here's my ticket. A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Sweet. map is one big X. Yeah, this is what the knife is for. We're free! Sort of flying blind here. might load that just because mm, the only mark on this map is one big X yeah but I swear we were able to look at it no oh, I think I remember looking at it I guess that's the water hmm Here's my ticket. A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Looks like it's down and to the right from the water. We're free! Thank you. 
so it coming down in this nomad camp will do. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Hello there. Salam, Bendy. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is to the south. That's about it. Thanks for the information. Alrighty, so it's to the south. South of the big nomad camp. The way balloons navigate is super interesting. Following the wind currents. If you're going if the wind's going one direction down low, they usually go up higher by dropping ballast to catch wind going the other way. Okay, so he wants me. Must be an updraft here. Well, let's try talking to these nomads. Stay here and guard the balloon. Hello there. Salam, Fendi. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? What do you make of this map? Hmm... You are very close to the site. This X is... slightly to the north. And... a little to the west. Thanks for the information. So northwest. When he says slightly though, does that mean an entire screen? Northwest. Oh there it is, cool. Uh, so that's what it was, you had to talk to the nomads. Vast uncrossable desert or dig site. It's an easy option. Look what 
we found an abandoned dig site. Sweet. Wait, where are you going? I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! Sophia! Uh-oh. Alrighty, what do we do first? I can't see in. There's a table block in the way. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. The engine's missing a spark plug and a distributor cap. There's a plug missing. Tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. go. It feels like a sharp stick of wood. It's a particularly sharp ship rib. It feels like a clay jar. It's an empty clay jar. All the things in the dark here. It's an ancient wooden peg of some sort. This feels like a wall. This feels like a wall. either a hose or a sleeping snake. I hope it's a hose. <laughs> it 
feels like a portable generator. That will be able to pick this up. It's too heavy to pick up. Feels like an on off switch. Feels like an on off switch. Nothing's happening. Maybe it's out of gas. Feels like an on off switch. It feels like a wall. Hmm. Oh, we do have a jar and a hose. So, can we siphon some petrol from the truck? start for some reason. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, uh, we kind of need the uh, gas tank. There we go. That's enough, the jar is full. Sweet. That worked. It's a clay jar full of gasoline. We we'll use this in the generator, and then hopefully we'll get some light inside the dig site. Is it just me or does it start out really dark and then get lighter slightly? I don't think that'll do any good. <laughs> I don't think that'll do any good. Feels like an on off switch. Yeah, but where's the. Oh, there we go, metal cap. It feels like a gas cap. I don't think that'll work. I better open it first. <laughs> now it's open. I've cool. emptied a jar into the pipe. Feels like an on off switch. Alrighty, there we go. It's a painting of a chest or arc. I've seen that before. <laughs> Good allusion to the uh, first Indiana Jones movie. I can't move it. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. It's a crumbling rock wall. I can't move it. I can't move it. Hmm. There's a mural behind this go. crumbling rock. It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm. Didn't I read about that in the lost dialogue? Yeah. Okay. So I put the peg in. It's the wooden peg inserted into the hole in the map. And now what? Yeah. Horns. Darkness. 
setting sun, noon sun, rising sun. I didn't do anything. Alrighty. I think we need to read the dialogue. Gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts, a sunstone sufficed. If darkness concealed the tall horns. If darkness concealed the tall horns. Darkness concealed the tall horns. Sophia? Excellent. I thought you were going to leave me in there. Believe me, I was tempted. Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. A distributor cap. It fell on my head when I sank <laughs> into the hole. And that's not no. all. Look! What is it? It's an amber fish on a string. I can see that. What does it do? How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Look where the sunstone is centered on the mural. The island of Crete. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find a greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go! It's a weird amber fish on a string. That's the device that uh, finds the orichalcum. Should I take this stuff back? No. Oh. Should I have gone in there first? Okay. Maybe we do that first. Sophia already found all there is to find. <laughs> all right. There's nothing else. We still needed a um a spark plug, right? We've got the distributor cap. Oh, maybe out of the generator. It's a generator. It doesn't seem to open. the generator on first. Yeah, fair enough. It's an on-off button. Wait, what was the... What was the ceramic thing? Or is that just the spark plug in the dark? changes when it's dark. I swear there was something else there. Did I just imagine that? Yeah. 
what do you know? A perfect fit. Handy. I don't think that'll work. It fits. Here we go. It's already open. That doesn't seem to work. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. Alrighty. Crete it is. just about the same size as the stone discs. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. No, but no. Need something that goes in there. Oh no, it's already got one. Okay, so... Well, that didn't do anything. For an outpost, it said... Many a sunset sufficed if darkness concealed the tall horns. The greater colony, a moonstone, was also needed with the sun di dying as a new moon is born. Okay, so I think I need a moonstone. Right. I doubt it's darkness on its own. That still didn't do anything. Yeah, okay. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. It must be detecting the orcalcum residue. That's handy. But what do we do here? Shouldn't have left that sunstone there, right? It's a pile of rubble. I can't pick that up. I don't think that'll work. Sophia's necklace. Excuse me. Well, some palace the Minoans had, huh? According to Nurab Sal, they were nothing but the Atlanteans' country cousins. Do you think the Nazis have been here? I don't know, but we should be careful. Something tells me they're not far away. Can we split up? And take a chance you'll get hopelessly lost? Not on your life, Buster. Let's look around. Okay. I was hoping to try and get it a leaf to see if the fish on the string worked in here. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Let's 
suppose it'd be far too easy if there was a sunstone just sitting around on the ground, right? The surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. It's a surveyor's transit. I'm too far away. I need to find a way down there. You're yeah, right. I need to find a way down. I'm too far away to see them clearly. Except dust. I can't pick that up. It's a pile of rubble. Time hasn't been too kind to this room. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. It's a pile of rubble. Nothing in there except dust. It's a pile of rubble. It's a pile of rubble. Everything's a pile of rubble, apparently. They look like the town centerpiece. Yeah, tall They horns. look like the town centerpiece. It's a pile of rubble. rubble it's a pile of rubble hmm, the stone hmm, what was that it's a pile of rubble hmm the stones look loose yeah maybe it's more than there's just a statue pile. here I can't pick that up It's a bull's head statue. I can't move it. Yeah. Surely we 
have to look at <laughs> through the middle of the horns, right? I see a wall. has to be the location you place it at, right? Ah, here we go. So to the left of the... Ah, okay, so we need to use it in both locations. It's an ancient locations. diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, so horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. Could the circle be one of the stone discs? I reckon that's the sun disc. We have to triangulate it, so... To the left of the horns there, and then from the tail, which I guess was the position it was in before. I'll double check. pick that up. Use this in this room? It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Mm. Excuse me. Well? What do we do now? I'm not sure. Let's figure out what the mural means. Hmm. Sophia? Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Take my necklace. Thanks. That was a bit melodramatic. All they're holding now is air. I can't pick that up. Hmm. Do I need to take it to the other location, maybe? Where is to the left of the I see Sophia item? I see Sophia. Okay, 
just in the way. That's where the horns are. Is this where the tail was? Surely not. It's a pile of rubble. They won't move. I can't level it on these stones. Hmm. They won't move. They won't move. I guess we go up here. Or is it these stones? Surely not. It's a pile of rubble. I guess we have to go back to putting the surveyor's instrument at the place we found it because now we know where to look. Colony and Moonstone also need was also needed with the sun dying as a new moon is born. Okay, so nothing about there's no other pile of stones, right? Sure, we have to point the instrument at a location where we then use the amber fish, right? It's a pile of rubble. It's a pile of rubble. I can't level it on these stones. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. It's a pile of rubble. Stones look loose. Here we go. There's a statue here. It's a bull's tail statue. All right, that's what we're looking for. a door. I see a door. Yeah, so it has to be that room, right? Even though I was pointing it to the left of the last. It 
doesn't make sense because then that wouldn't reach the same point. I see dirt. It is that room, right? It's just, uh... It's a doorway. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Was this one or that one? I think it was that first one. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Nope, no luck. They're all empty. Nothing in there except dust. Yeah. I think I'm having some trouble. We'll just check that mural again. diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. To the left and to the right. Because it doesn't make sense because it wouldn't converge on anything. Like there's that. I see a wall. Yeah, so what? 